Okay, fair enough. I'll keep an eye out. Uh, let's go for a small AC unit back here. Let's get a plant in the corner. We'll go for... I don't think you'd want a display skeleton in the ward, but... They're getting it. They're getting a display skeleton, because it's, uh... Take a seat well, get those because they're getting one. Uh, we'll do a clock there. And we'll do one up here as well. And chairs, I mean, we could do one there. We can sort of do one there as well. That looks alright. I like it. That's going to be our ward. Let's hire a nurse that can look after it. You get decent treatment. We'll get you, Albert Leopard. Welcome to your ward. And also, let me just go to items and say let's get some benches for outside the ward as well. So just like that, we'll get a salty snacks machine in the corner. And maybe take that bench out and do a plant. And let's say a leaflet stand as well. Alrighty, that looks fine to me. Uh, so what do we need to do here? We need to cure three patients in the Pan's lab. Is that a reference to... Huh. Never mind. Let's see, so you look like someone with a kitchen utensil somewhere that you don't want it to be. So I'm thinking we need to send you to the Pan's lab. So let's go ahead and see if we can get the Pan's lab. Cures patients with pandemic. Removes pans from the head stuck within them. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. So this actually needs to be a 4x4 four four room, which is a bit of a worry, because we don't have the space for that. Interesting. Can I do that? No. I can do that, but that kind of blocks off... That blocks off a little more space than I want it to. I can't do that. So this 100% needs a 4x4 four four space, which suddenly has me thinking the ward is... Well, we couldn't have even done it over there now that I think about it. Okay. Um, well, that makes things tricky. I mean, I can... Uh, let's see. Stop editing the room. I can buy some land, but we're not making a lot of money. So I don't know how useful that's going to be. Also, I think you're super low on energy, right? Yes. Okay. Might want to keep an eye on that. I'll tell you what, let's upgrade the easy scan. Since we might as well. And I guess we do need to own another building, so tell you what. Buy this. It's 25,000. It's going to take 15 days to build it. So we'll get that. We can put Pan's Lab out there. I'm not really sure what we can put in this corner. I guess another GP's office. Something like that. Another GP's office might not be a bad idea. And someone just died in the ward. Good news is, they will go get dressed before they keel over. So that's always a plus. As for my doctor in psychiatry, where are you going? You are getting a snack. Okay. You could have done that in the staff room, but okay. And you are... Are you working in psychiatry yet? I'm not... You're still on break. Okay. Can I get you to go back to work, please? You're looking for work. I feel like you're not. I definitely feel like you're not. Just you work in psychiatry, please, and let's get, uh, get that all sorted. Oh, we have a ghost. Hello. Okay. That's probably fine. Oh, this has been built. Fantastic. And you want a promotion from junior janitor to janitor. Okay, no problem. Let's go ahead and get Pan's lab then. We're also going to need a deluxe clinic at some point. But Pan's lab can actually fit quite nicely over here. Oh, that's why. It's huge. That explains a lot. Oh, someone's dead? Well, that's, uh, that's a shame. Tell you what, we'll go ahead and put this in the corner there. We can do a nice big bin in the corner. We can get a fire extinguisher by the door. Get some hand sanitizer by the door as well. We've got a small AC unit, which I can just slip in the corner back there. Get a plant. 
And tell you what, display skeleton. You always need a good display skeleton. And a dog. There we go. Almost prestige level three, too. So let's go for a notice board and a clock. There we go. Okay, so that's done. We have Pan's lab. We're going to want to get someone who is... You're good at treatment. You're a nurse, though. Uh, let's see. You are very good in general practice. What about our current GP? With eight people in the queue. Oh. Okay, you are also quite... You're good at diagnostics. Tell you what, we'll get Barry Cups here. We'll put him in the GP's office. You, Roy Gray. I'm going to move you into Pan's lab. There you go, bud. So you enjoy that. We'll get you some nice purple benches out front. Because purple benches are best benches, let's be honest. And let's see. I think a drinks machine. And I think a snacks machine. Not bad. That'll work. That'll totally work. I'm also thinking, can we by chance get a deluxe clinic over here? We can do a deluxe clinic, clinic as three by three. Good. We're not going to do it yet. We don't have the money. But it's good to know we can do it when the time comes. So hopefully this new GP can get through the, well, the list of people. We have a queue of seven. I'll tell you what. I think we need another We need another one. We need another GP's office. And if I could speak properly, that'd be great. I'm tripping over my words right now, and I'm not happy about it. But we'll do this kind of thing at the GP's office exactly the same way we always do. Get the filing cabinets. Let's see if we can maybe go for a nice... Can we do something different with it? I feel like the answer is going to be a no. I feel like with the layout I've gone for, there's really... I mean, this, this, this is kind of what we do every time, isn't it? Get that back there. That's actually not going to work there. That's better. Get a plant. Get a, a nice rug, I think. Something like... Something like that works. Get a nice poster. Painting of a dog. And a notice board should push it up to... Uh, there we go. Prestige level three. Alrighty. Money's getting a bit low. That is very true. But... I reckon, I reckon we can make it work. You're hired, go in there, and let's maybe take a loan of 50,000. Just to be sure. Just to be sure that everything's all right. And Anna Asparagus can't get to where she wants to be. It was, is that the ghost? It is. It is the ghost. The ghost can't get to where the ghost wants to be. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know if I care that the ghost can't get to where the ghost wants to be. Go ahead and get a leaflet stand there. That should be all right. And I'll tell you what. We could also go ahead and say, let's do some salty snacks and some drinks. And I think that'll sort of work out. Maybe a bin right there could be an idea. All right. We'll see how this works. Monetarily speaking, we are technically making some. We just, everything's been a bit slow because of, uh, what is this? What do you want to do? Go 90 days without a death for more happiness and some points. I'm going to, sure, sure. <laughs> that's, that's something we can do, right? That's something we can manage. We'll see how this all goes. I'm also noticing, yeah, the queues have definitely subsided for the GP. That's good. Still have a ghost roaming around, though. What is the, uh, the janitor's not doing a whole lot. What is this? A deluxe clinic is required. We do technically have the money, but we are technically losing a lot of money right now. Oh, I missed this person getting the pan off their head. Hold on. Let's see here. So you jump up, your feet get strapped in, and then... Well, that's remarkable treatment. That is... Oh, we've discovered bog warts here, okay. And we have a reporter visiting. A reporter for Two Point Radio, Sally Fig Blanket, 
is in the area investigating mysterious smells coming from a Marydung farm. From Marydung farm. She's asked if she can stop by to do a story in the hospital. Sure. Anna Asparagus can't get to where she wants to be. I feel like Anna Asparagus should not be a priority. She's a ghost. Let's see. What is this? We've discovered... Is it Portis? 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 Portis head? Portis? Portis sheed? Portis head? We'll say Portis head. Portis head affects both body and mind. Once thought to be caused by proximity to sea air, it's now known to be chiefly caused by living in Portis head. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Why is no one working at the news agents? I'd kind of like you to work at the news agent, please. And I'm also thinking, since we do technically need one, let's get the deluxe clinic before, uh, before it's too late. So we'll get the door right there. Get the big old machine. Get the, uh, the controls for it. And uh, bins and all that stuff need to go in. So bin back there. Extinguisher by the door. Hand sanitizer, of course, by the door as well. Small AC unit, unfortunately, can't fit back there, but can fit back there. Good. Plant. And... Notice board. And a clock. There we go, level three. Alright. Gonna need a doctor for this, I think. Yeah, doctor required. So we'll go for... I mean, you're fairly qualified. So there you go, you can work in the deluxe clinic. And we'll get ourselves more purple benches. Because once again, purple benches are the way to go. Got a bunch of them along there. And that looks alright. We could get a bunch in the middle as well. I don't think we'll do that just yet, because I don't think we need them. But there we go. We can start treating people, specifically you, for lightheadedness. We have just got one star for this hospital, meaning we have unlocked Flottering. We also got Cardiology and Deluxo Lux 2. Congratulations. Your hospital has been awarded a one star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Like lightning, you have made a mockery of your detractors by striking a second time. You are commanded on your endeavors into the inner workings of machines and the human mind, respectively. Now focus on your budding two-headed empire, or add a third head by opening a new hospital in Flossering, as it's currently not much of an empire. You know what? I'll wait. Because we have just unlocked cardiology. We have just had someone die, so I feel that request there. Uh, let's see. So we need to get up to level eight. We need to own three buildings, and we need to upgrade two machines. So let's see if we can maybe upgrade the Deluxo Lux. And we can't upgrade that. We can't upgrade that. So we're probably going to want to get another cardiology... Sorry, uh, what is this? General diagnosis. And possibly another pharmacy at some point. That's probably not a terrible idea. So we'll see how that goes. I believe, yep, janitor is going to go and upgrade that. This is good though. We've managed to uh we've managed to cure a bunch of things. We're making money. It's a good start. We've obviously got the uh the hand sanitizer stuff, so that's working out for us. Although I am curious about hospital level. I'm trying to think of the best way to upgrade that. I mean, what's what's the biggest problem in the hospital currently? I mean, there's not many queues for the GP. There's not really queues for anything. I guess the ward is looking like the uh, most busy. It is full right now. So maybe another ward could be the way to go. Might not be a terrible idea to uh, maybe throw another ward or two in this space. In fact, that might be the way to go. They're not super expensive. We could do three there and... Do that as well. Leave a gap of one down the middle. So just have two wards right beside each other. I don't know if I like that idea, but it could work. Unless we did something like that for a ward. Which is an option, I suppose. I think I might do that. Yeah, 
Did that just did the game just remind me to stay hydrated? <laughs> I think it did. All right. Uh, let's see. So what I think we'll do is we'll get the nurse's desk there. We'll let them change in the corner again. And the beds can go like this. And we can get them opposite each other. We can get a lot more people into this ward, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty decent. I think that'll work. We'll get the lockers in the way we always do. Although I don't know how well that's going to work because technically this one on the, at the end here is going to be a little trickier to work with. Well, that's awkward. I'll tell you what. Let's do your locker just there instead. And these guys are going to be... Similar story, probably. Your locker is not really going to fit there at all. Well, it sucks to be you, doesn't it? Yeah, it sucks to be you. I could put it there. But, uh... That seems like a bit... Seems a bit weird. I'll tell you what. Let's do the locker there, sort of at the foot of the bed. It's kind of, you know what, let's just not do that locker at all. We'll just sell it. We'll say that locker there is split between them or something. Filing cabinet. Um, maybe right there if I can do it. Sure. That'll, that'll kind of work out. Bin. Fire extinguisher. A little bit of hand sanitizer. We'll get a small air conditioning unit right up the end there. Maybe a plant. Can I get this to prestige level four, I wonder? I feel like there's a chance. I feel like there's a very slim chance. Uh, I don't think I can. No, that's not even going to work there. That's annoying. Okay. We'll move the clock to that spot. It's very nearly prestige level four. But I don't think, uh, I don't think I'm going to get it there. Nice little chair there, perhaps. Make it look like people are visiting people in the ward. Oh, we're very close to level four, actually. Hold on a minute. I might be able to do this. So throw that there. There we go. Level four. Fantastic. All right. So we have another ward. Meaning we can get another nurse. This one. Ingrid Back Thumper. <laughs> sure. It's <laughs> a great name. That's a good name. Uh, let's get cardiology in here. Because uh, that's actually a pretty good spot for it. We can get the treadmill thing. And filing cabinets, I guess. There we go, level two already. Get the big bin in the corner here. Get the extinguisher beside the bin. Let me do hand sanitizer by the door. Uh, let's do a plant for added oxygen or something like that. I don't know. All right. Can I get this place to level, level three as well? Is that going to be a thing? I think a chair will do it. There we go. All right. Very nearly level eight. Also, who works cardiology? A nurse. Okay. We'll go for you. You're hired. Let's get some benches along here. Uh, we'll not do a bench there. We'll do some along this bit, though. This bit here can be... I'm thinking leaflet stand and plant. Just to add a little bit of beauty to the area. Just a little bit. Alrighty. So we have cardiology. We have another ward. We are level eight, which is fantastic. We need to upgrade another machine, unfortunately. And we need another building. We also have a pharmacy emergency. Five patients with verbal diarrhea. Okay. We've discovered Freudian lips. A tendency to pout excessively when faced with the camera. Oh, God. Caused by a buildup of lewd thoughts in the cerebral cortex. A psychiatrist must use a subconscious tap to drain the excess thoughts into a beaker, after which they can be safely disposed of in an incinerator. Okay. And monobra. Hold on a minute. Where's Freudian lips? Who? Where's, where's monobra? 
That's my question. I, uh... I can't help but wonder. What are you- you're on a break, you're on call, fair enough. Alright. I don't know if you've got a mono bra. I'm also thinking we might need another janitor. I think we only- we only have one. And this guy's super good, so... Gordon Carnage, what a name. What a haircut. What a haircut. Uh, let's see then, so... You are... You're currently an emergency patient, that's fine. Oh, hello. That doctor's running for it. Oh my god. I think we find someone that's suffering, uh... Suffering monopro. <laughs> Good lord. What are you doing? Oh, probably throwing up. Yeah, that makes sense. That would- that would make sense. Fair enough. Oh, pharmacy has a bit of a queue though, doesn't it? Might not be a bad idea to get another one of those, because we have like six- we have like five people currently needing to go through a pharmacy. Might not be a bad idea to look at another pharmacy, and we have room for it over here. What do we got? Potty moth? Oh dear. Okay. So that's pharmacy as well. You know what? We need another pharmacy. We do need another pharmacy. Can I do that? No. I realize by doing uh, by doing this, I take up more space than I need to with uh, with things like the pharmacy, don't I? Because it can technically be a three uh, a three by three room, but I make it a four by three footprint. But I like doing this. I like this as my layout. I think it looks good. So I think we'll just we'll just carry on, you know, as per usual. We'll not worry about the intricate details of whether or not, you know, this makes sense. We'll just acknowledge the fact that it probably doesn't, but it looks neat. And that's kind of, that's really what it's all about. Obviously. Anyway, there's a new pharmacy. We can get some benches along the front. And actually, we can upgrade this machine as well, which will be perfect. So we'll get that done. We can go ahead and hire a nurse, who I think will go with you. You're a bit cheaper. So there you go. You can work in there. And that'll work out well for us. That means that uh, we can split patients between the two pharmacies, which is kind of exactly what we want to do. I'm just really hoping that they don't get too carried away and go to the... Yeah, they're going to the new pharmacy already. Which we kind of don't want them to do because the new pharmacy is being upgraded, but to each their own. Anyway. You want me to shoot five mono beasts? If I'm not mistaken, aren't mono beasts this game's version of rats from uh, from Theme Hospital? They it's basically rodents that run around, but I'm pretty sure by rodents it actually means it's just rogue mono bras. Pretty sure that's what a mono beast is. I just, I don't know where they are. I don't know where I'm gonna see a mono beast. Because I've, I've had this challenge before, I've never done it. I've never managed this challenge because I never find the mono beasts. I always see one or two. But never five, what is this? Staff promotion. Junior assistant to assistant. I'll tell you what, that's fine. That's not a problem. We've cured two patients in the pharmacy, that's not bad. Still no sign of no mono beasts though. Still no sign of no mono beasts. Annoyingly. Maybe I just don't worry about it, maybe it's like... Maybe it's like when you're playing Grand Theft Auto and you're looking for a, a certain vehicle, it never spawns. Because I'm looking for the mono beasts, I'm never going to see them. I need to make the game think that I'm not looking for mono beasts. So... Oh, look at the ward! Isn't it so ward-like? Aha! 
No, nothing. That didn't work. <laughs> 